Hey YouTubers, today we have a Mila dishwasher that has the intake slash drain light flashing. And in this case, it's due to the dishwasher not being able to drain the water out. So we're gonna talk about some things you can check. And mainly we're gonna be changing the drain system to get rid of the air gap. So when we open it up, we're gonna take a look at a little part in here called the one-way valve to make sure there's nothing caught in it. We're gonna lift up on the lower spray arm. We're gonna turn the triple, triple filter arm and pull the triple filter off. We're gonna pull this little one-way valve to our right-hand side to release it. We're gonna pull it out. There should be a steel ball bearing in there that can move around. We're gonna shake it around a little bit and we see there's nothing caught in there. So we know that that's not the culprit. Might want to also check the little impeller underneath to make sure it can spin easily. But this seemed all really good. So we're going to go to check another part of the system. And that is the air gap. So we're going to using, or underneath the sink, we're using our driver to disconnect this one hose clamp. And then we're going to pull the drain hose off of the air gap. We're going to take a look in there, make sure there's nothing caught. I'm putting it over a bucket and I'm gonna change the change the mode on the dishwasher and I'm gonna start a new cycle and when I close the door we should get some drain action and water should come out so we have a good amount of water coming out so we know that the drain system for the dishwasher is actually working good but the air gap which is the little device over by the kitchen faucet may either be clogged or we may just want to bypass the whole thing. So I'm going to pull off the little silver cap and twist off the plastic nut that holds it on, Lefty Lucy. And I'm going to push it down into the area underneath the sink. And then I'm going to use my driver to disconnect another hose clamp that's holding on a different part, different hose going on to the air gap. And then once I get that loose, I'll grab that and twist and pull to get that drain hose off. This is the hose that goes between the dish or goes between the air gap and the garbage disposal. Okay, now I'm going to use my driver to disconnect the hose clamp on this big rubber hose. This is the one that's coming from the air gap. And I'm using a standard head screwdriver to kind of leverage and pull this big black hose off of the garbage disposal. And instead of having that hose going up to the air gap, I'm gonna take the hose from the dishwasher drain and I'm gonna put it directly onto the garbage disposal, bypassing the air gap. Air gaps are just famous for getting clogged all the time. So this is actually what's done in Europe with the Mila and the Bosch dishwashers. And here in some parts of the United States, they require that you have these air gaps and they tend to cause problems, especially with the European models. So all I'm gonna do here is pretty simple. I'm just gonna take this drain hose, pull it a little bit to get a little bit more hose. And I'm going to push the drain hose up as high as I can underneath the sink in a big upward arc. Then I'll put it onto the garbage disposal. Can you please consider pressing down in the lower right hand corner of your screen the subscribe button and that really helps our channel. I want this to be in a big arc because I don't want water from the sink to fill the disposal and then drain backwards and flood the dishwasher. By, by putting it in this big arc, it's basically doing the job of the air gap, but it won't clog up. So I'll go ahead and tighten that hose clamp. So you never want the drain hose to just go straight from the disposal right into the dishwasher going down. You always want it to go in an upward arc. So I'm now gonna set it for a new cycle. I'll close the door and I got some good drain action now, I can hear it. So that solved our drain problem. No more intake drain light, super easy to do. It doesn't take any parts, just a few tools few minutes of your time. Go ahead and open that up. Just check in there to make sure. 
that all that water is out. Yep, there's a little water is left in the sump. That's normal, but that worked great. I'm just going to put that air gap back in there by lift, pushing it up in from underneath, and then I'll put that little nut on there. You don't have to have this air gap here. With this protrusion in the sink, you could put a little soap dispenser instead or whatever you like. But in this case, we're just putting it back to fill that hole. And then we'll put the little silver cap back on over top. So pretty easy to do. Just take you a few minutes and this will solve your drain problem. You're gonna make sure that hose is in a big upward arc. And that did the trick. Thanks so much for watching. Watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. And also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Feel free to contact me at the email listed below which has got the fixitguy at yahoo.com.